Inesan Kanichua, Joe Taku Joe Das. Welcome back to a Let's Play of Mel Gear Solid Abridged. Now we just escaped the prison section and now we're on the minefield and so I'm going to take out the cameras by doing this. Yes. Uh, sorry, my upload schedule has been a bit weird. I've been quite busy. Uh, it's the Christmas period that's happened and I'm like quite busy in January as well. So yeah, I'm just there. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to sort it out. One of my viewers told me like they want me to complete this last play because some of my last plays I don't fully complete. I have completed a few. I have, but yeah, some I, I haven't. And that's because of like, you know, like time and also it's like I wasn't getting diffused as well. Honestly, I was spending a lot of time. I did like half hour last plays and I did the editing and did the uh, the audio as well and just uh, you know like checking it and you know making sure it's all good and it just takes a lot of time and I just wasn't getting diffused as well compared to my uh, competitive videos like say like Tekken and Street Fighter stuff like that I, it just wasn't getting diffused and I thought half an hour videos with all that time and effort put in and it's, it just seemed like it, it just wasn't worth it it kind of bored me in the end I thought it was boring Yeah, it just, I just thought it was really, I don't know, I just, it, it kind of bored me. And with this game, I promise you that it's one of my favorite video games. I enjoy it, I love it. I'm really enjoying editing this because when I edit it, I'm like, okay, what sections can I cut because it's abridged? I'm like, oh, my general rule right now is basically, how do I cut it? Like have added it to the point where it meets the story where the plot is still in but it's a lot of gameplay okay nuclear storage facility we're back here this time snake has caught a cold so we're going to use the cardboard box because that's going to negate the cold as long as we're in the cardboard box, Snake will not sneeze. And when he sneezes, he'll alert the guards. So we don't want that. So that's why we're using the cardboard box. Jolly good cardboard box. So yeah, I think in MGS2, there's a way to stop Snake from sneezing when you get the cold. I think you either hug the wall and you shimmy left and right, and it cancels the animation of Snake sneezing. Or I think it's like you press I can't remember, it's been so long since I played the game. I think you press the crouch, like go up and down against the wall, so it looks like he's scratching his back against the wall. Like I said, you cancel out the animation of him sneezing, and if you can cancel the animation, you cancel the sound he makes, and so he won't alert the guards, and that's good. So yeah, but in this game, I don't think it's possible to do that. I I honestly don't think so, I can't remember. All I know is that using the cardboard box will stop him from sneezing. However, once we're outside the cardboard box, we might actually trigger the sneeze. So I gotta be really careful. This is really intense. Like, hopefully I'm confident. Like, I'm not gonna screw up. So hopefully I, I do not screw up in this. Gotta be careful with the end. Um, the metal floor as well. Huh? What was that noise? Oh, back in the box, get back in. Oh. Huh? Just the box. Alright, that was a bit intense. Come on, press the let's go. Get out of here. Go, 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 go. I'm just staying away from the dude. I do not want to be in his line of fishing. In his cone of fishing. Oh, box, box, box. Huh? 
Just a box. Okay, for some reason, he's got short-term memory and he must have forgot like the box is actually moving. So yeah, that sucks. That's scary, that was scary. Basement one. through this area here, just gonna check my equipment as well. I think I'm good to go. Yeah, I think I'm good. Okay, back into the cavern like glacier thingy snowy part. I don't know what it is. I I think it's like froze over and everything. It's ridiculous. I always thought it was underground. I, I don't know, it's just weird. It's like the building is it's where it is like rocky and snowy and it's it's a weird It's a weird level layout. Oh, here's the dogs with the ha handkerchief on. We can like smack them and stuff. So yeah, with sniper wolf's handkerchief, bam. Yeah, but I don't like doing that. You know, I can smack him and they'll still love me. Like a um, toxic relationship that's like messed up. Physical abuse. So no, that's a no, no, that is toxic. We don't. We don't tolerate physical abuse or, or smacking dogs. No. But yeah. With sniper wolf scent, I like the smell, so I don't think that works in reality. Does it? I'm not, I'm not too sure if it does. Maybe, but I don't know. I, I don't think it does. I don't know. I have no idea. It's a funny Kodak moment. Snake, Naomi wants to talk to you. How do you feel, Snake? Well, to tell you the truth, I think I'm catching a cold. I'm monitoring you via the nanomachines. Your body temperature is elevated and your lymph nodes are slightly swollen. Don't worry, it appears to be just a mild rhinovirus. Uh, I guess I got it from that soldier. I've increased your nutrition and elevated your blood sugar level. You can't cure it? Sorry, Snake. The nanomachines don't carry antibiotics. Maybe you could find some garlic. It contains natural antibiotics, you know. Vitamins and minerals, too. Ugh, raw garlic. Give me a break. There must be some cold medicine somewhere on the base. That would make you feel better. If not, you'll just have to wait until your body's natural defenses take over. Funny moment. Kind of funny. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I think we're good to go now. Alright, here we are. Oh, and his blood, the blood that Meryl was shot with. Oh, Meryl, she's gone now. She died, I let her down and she died and we'll never see her again. Her sacrifice will not be in vain. Oh my. Oh dear, the sadness. Anyway, that, let's just carry on. All right, and... Oh, bless you, snake, bless you. Yeah, it's kind of sad. I think there's like gun cameras here. So yeah, here's the yeah uh, towers. This is a crazy moment in the game. Bless you, Snake. Bless you. He should be over the cold by now. Once we reach this area. Yeah, I'm just getting ready. If you don't know what's gonna happen, something big's gonna happen. It's one of the big sack pieces in the game. I think it's there just to add some 
variety. So we was backtracking a lot and yeah. We got caught. Get the rope. Because I think I forgot the rope last time. So yeah, I'm just gonna shoot and I'm just gonna keep running. I think I'm okay now. Uh, equip my rations. Alright, we're good. Yeah, I'm still trying to get hit. I mean, I'm, I'm getting hit. And it's not good. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Snake is... Okay, I'm kind of aiming wrong. I'm miss, missing the guard. Oh my god, Snake can't aim. Aiming is off. Actually, yeah, the aiming is really awful in this compared to that. Oh my gosh, you know what? I might as well just just equip the freaking stun grenade. Maybe I should have done that from the get go. Oh, I totally forgot. Yeah, I think use the stun grenade. Only equip the stun grenade and then throw the guard into the other guards. I think that's how you're supposed to do it, like optimum way. Um, yeah, I've done it wrong. I just went all crazy gun hole. Like, okay, this is how most people would play it the first time. And they just like go shooty shooty. But yeah, I should use the stun grenade and just like through the dude. Oh well. At least it's kind of entertaining. I don't know. Hopefully it is. It's a bit annoying this part for me. Like, personally, I just find it a drag. Oh, I actually like hold, hold the crouch point and like the weapon button at the same time and it just sucks like the way he runs. He can't actually aim his gun. Like, I know it's pretty bad. When you hold down the weapon button, he aims, but you can't move it. It's, it's pretty, it's a big flaw. If they ever did a remake, it probably would be better. Yes, I think we're at the top now. So yeah, we're almost there. We're almost there, dudes. We're, we're almost there. We're going, we're going to do this. That's it, press. No, don't crouch. Press the wrong button there. And then let's go. Okay. Going on here. No, it janked up again. The control janked up again. No, move, move, stop doing that. Stop making it hard for me. Stop, just stop it, okay? Stop making it hard. Just move, work properly, you stupid freaking emulator, silly freaking game. Work. Ugh. Finally, oh my. I was actually going. That was actually annoying, honestly. That really annoyed me. That I was getting really. I'm getting really tired of the controls janking up on me. I'm sorry. This last play isn't an abridged last play. It should be known as my controls jank the hell up. Let's play. That's what it's freaking. Hopefully we never. It's why is it three times now that that's happened? I don't know what's causing it. Is it like when I'm pressing multiple inputs or when? Multiple things happen. It seems, yeah, it seems like when I'm pressing multiple inputs, it kind of just freezes and, and it always seems to press down. Maybe it's the, like, pressing down. Maybe it's my button. It must be the down button. It must be busted or something. Or broken, which is weird because I had the... That's just weird. Anyway, I'm going to call mailing a stable game and I'll see you in the next part. Please, thank you for watching, like, share and subscribe. What can I do for you, Snake? In Paradise Lost, Milton wrote, Solitude sometimes is best society, and short retirement urges sweet return. Is that why you came back, Snake? You got tired of your short retirement in Alaska, huh? <laughs>